Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Dr. Neep and today I'll be discussing five ways to treat yeast infection at home. Before we dive into that discussion, what is a yeast infection? A yeast infection is a overgrowth of a fungus called Candida albicans. In regards to a female, the yeast infection is called vaginal candidiasis. We can have fungal infections on any areas of our body, the nails, the hands, the scalp, which is called tinea capitis, or on the body or the trunk, which is called tinea corporis. So, to clear up any misconceptions, yeast infections are common. Three out of four women would have had some experience with yeast infection at some point in their lives. And no, it is not a sexually transmitted infection. Let's speak on what are the common symptoms. Common symptoms of a yeast infection ranges from mild to moderate to severe. Mild symptoms include mild itching to the vaginal area or the genitalia. Most women may have a mild discharge which may not be noticeable unless examined by a medical practitioner. Symptoms of a moderate yeast infection include a cottage cheese discharge or clumpy white discharge which is associated with genitalial itching or itching to the inner aspect of the genitalia, the vagina. Some women may also feel some discomfort while having sexual intercourse and also burning when they pass the urine. Symptoms of a severe yeast infection could include a urinary tract infection. Signs of a urinary tract infection, burning when you pass urine, frequency of passing of the urine, there might be some urgency to pass the urine. Frequency of urination, meaning there is difficulty holding the urine and some urgency to pass the urine. Some women may experience a fever, nausea, vomiting, and lower abdominal pain and cramping, and just overall feeling unwell. These are some symptoms of a urinary tract infection, which also may include blood in the urine. So, we have identified that you might have vaginal candidiasis. What are the treatment methods? So, we've made a diagnosis, you might have a yeast infection. The doctor would prescribe an insert, which is clotrimazole and a cream, which would also aid to reduce the symptoms. Depending on the severity of the infection, the doctor might also prescribe an antifungal, fluconazole or itraconazole. If you have any of the following symptoms, please seek medical attention burning when you pass urine, frequency of urination, inability to hold the urine, pain in the lower abdomen, vomiting, a fever, nausea, loss of appetite, feeling unwell, pain while having sexual intercourse, bleeding from the vagina or blood in the urine. If you have a very high or foul urine, please seek medical attention. If you have any underlying chronic illnesses such as diabetes, it would be best if you speak with your doctor for treatment of your vaginal candidiasis. Home remedies to treat a yeast infection. One, start increasing your intake of yogurt. So I know you guys are saying yogurt, yogurt to your diet helps to increase your digestive enzymes and also the good germs in the gut to help to offset all of the bad bacteria and germs and yes get rid of yeast infections if you're going to have yogurt please make it Greek yogurt yes I know you're gonna say but doc I like all the other sweet tasting yogurts unfortunately those might have too much calories and also have too many additives and sugar Highly processed sugars can actually make the yeast infection worse. Two, 
add vitamin C to your diet. Vitamin C is awesome to build and boost your immune system and it will help to offset the germs and the bacteria to help to fight against the yeast infection. Three, add probiotics to your diet. Add a probiotic that has lactobacillus acidophil. It is excellent to decrease the amount of fungus that is growing and two probiotics are very good to help to boost your gut health so probiotics can be introduced to the diet there are also probiotic suppositories that we can use for the treatment of vaginal candidiasis this fourth home remedy is adding garlic to your diet yes we're going to include garlic into our diet garlic has great antimicrobial properties no we will not be inserting the garlic into the vagina or the vaginal canal that is not the practice again remember guys we should not be inserting any foreign objects of that sort into the vagina because it can actually cause more harm than good it will disturb the natural pH of the vagina it can cause itching irritation burning and maybe wounds to the external genitalia and also the internal genitalia but adding garlic to our meals can boost the antimicrobial properties offered by garlic. The fifth and final home remedy, or I should say over-the-counter treatment, is to utilize vaginal suppositories which include clotramazole. Depending on where you are and which region you're located, you might be able to get it over-the-counter. There might be restrictions for persons in the Caribbean, but check your closest pharmacy and have a discussion with them. Guys, this is Dr. Nick. I hope you enjoyed this segment. I hope it adds some value to your life. Do you have any home remedies that you have tried? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear it and also share it with the other persons on the platform so that they can also be educated. If you enjoy the content, remember to smash the like button and let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Go ahead and subscribe here, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm recommending that you watch my next video on vaginal discharges here. And if you've ever had any problems with acne like myself, you could check out this video. It's Dr. Nick on a big up on the stuff.